Hi everyone, welcome to this video which is all about daily habits. Now I truly believe that your daily habits are what create your reality. If you've got positive habits then you will have a more positive reality. If your habits are disempowering or quite negative then that will impact your life as well. There's lots of different theories out there from 21 days up to 48 days to create a habit. So a minimum of doing something consistently 21 days day after day helps to embed something as a habit. That's why often you'll see in January when everybody's on that new year, new me, new year resolution phase that the gyms will start to get so, so busy. What are called our January joiners. Yeah, I'm signing up, got my card, got all my new gym gear and I'm going to go to the gym every single day. Now that might happen for a few days but often by mid to the end of January you'll see that the gyms are getting quieter again. So some of your jo January joiners, easy for me to say, have essentially kind of slipped off. They've perhaps fallen off that kind of exercise wagon and they haven't made it to creating a habit. So that pattern, you might see that in your life around different areas that actually you've not created that consistent, regular habit. So I want to help you today to think about your habits and how you can create really positive habits. Now for me, it all starts at the beginning of your day. So how do you start your day? And it can even start the evening before. So do you get yourself organized and prepared? If you want to exercise first thing, do you have all your running gear set out and ready for you? I always find that a really, really good way to start the day because if it's sitting out and ready, then I'll feel mega guilty if I don't put it on and then go out for that run. So really positive habit for the start of my day is running. Also love things like meditation. I like getting organized and focused for my work. So if I've got coaching or team sessions, I like to get really prepared and really in the mindset, get in that peak state. So think about my physiology, think about my focus, my gratitude, and also think about my overall mindset. So these are some of the really positive things that I start my day with. Other people like to chill, have a cup of tea, like to reflect at the start of their day. It, some of you may be watching this and thinking, I've got kids running around, I've got all this stuff to do, reflect. But for me, it's about, do you set that alarm a few minutes earlier to give yourself more space? Or do you do that typical snooze, 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 snooze? And actually you're starting your day in quite a negative zone because you're thinking, oh, it's time to get up and feeling a bit frustrated. Now I used to be like that since I've kind of changed my mindset overall and changed my habits, the impact that it's had on the rest of the day has been phenomenal. So starting the day in a really positive way is really important. And there's lots of different habits that you will have throughout your day that will be either positive and what I would call as kind of quite powerful habits or some disempowering or more negative habits. Now, I really want you to think about what are some of the things that you're doing consistently that are not serving you, so that are a bit disempowering. Some of us might like eating too much junk food, might like watching too much brain rot TV, as I call it, might be talking to yourself really negatively all the time, and that's chipping away at your confidence. So there may be a number of disempowering habits that you have. So I want you to think about those habits and how can you change them? How can you adapt them? Or how can you minimize the amount of time you, that you're spending on them? I'm not telling you to not watch TV or not to have the occasional treat. Absolutely not. It's about balance. But it's really, really important that you're not focusing too much on the more negative habits and forgetting all the positive habits. So I want you to now go to a place of action. So your action for this video today is to think about what are your disempowering habits? What are the things that are holding you back that you're doing consistently? I then want you to replace each of these disempowering habits. So you'll have at least three, you might have a lot more, but replace each of these disempowering habits with a positive habit. Now, 
a really, really simple way to do that is flip the disempowering habit on its head. So if junk food, eating it too much, too often is your disempowering habit, flip that on its head. How can you eat healthily and why do you want to do that? So get really clear on the why of each of these new habits and then put in place a reward for consistently maintaining a positive habit. Your reward doesn't have to be food related or alcohol related. It can be something completely different. It can be a treat for yourself, but just in a different way. So just a recap there, think about your disempowering habit. How can you change and create a new positive habit? And then make sure that you give yourself a reward for consistently day after day, essentially putting in place these really effective powerful habits. Go get to it folks. Thanks for tuning in.